panel discussion was amazing. It was the first of a, a series of uh, events on shaping cities that uh, we're going to do. Key themes that emerged from tonight's panel discussion were around the role of government, around the role of the private sector, how those two interact, and then secondly, the position of regulation and whether law is keeping up with the demands, the needs of smart cities, of developers, of investors. The most important points that we learned about today are the interplay between technology and the built environment and how autonomous transport systems are going to change the way our cities look in the future. When we think about the future of cities, I think it's really important to think holistically. So to not only think about technology, but to really look at all kinds of different factors across the social, the economic, the technical, the environmental and the political. The pace of change within London is only going to increase. By the end of this year, we're going to be turning TfL into a telecoms company. We're going to be installing 4G coverage across all of our stations and tunnels, building on that to create a fibre network that will really address connectivity across London. Challenges for lawyers is actually understanding what the regulatory regime is in relation to the privacy issues associated with the collection of data and how to create some sort of framework to protect people but also to foster innovation and development which data inputs into and which the private sector can actually benefit from. There's a lot of data out there which will inform you or help you forecast what's going to happen and therefore help you make better decisions and build a better fiscal environment for the future. We covered all sorts of cities around the world, we covered the ageing population, data, climate change and it was fascinating.